Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to break up the monotony of news, of prepping, and just have maybe one day a week. I don't know how this will go. I don't know how you all will react, but give this video a thumbs up if you like this and you want me to continue to do this, like maybe one day a week, just to break up the monotony and have a little bit of fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a few shorts with you that I came across that I think is either very funny or very interesting or both. And then we're gonna take a look at some of the comments because I find that the comments are sometimes a lot funnier than the short itself. And we're gonna start off here with Benny Johnson. If you don't know who Benny Johnson is, go check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of shorts as well. He is awesome, a great truth teller. What's the largest organized group of rich criminals in America? The answer will shock you. Wait till the end. Hey. Want to take a guess on the most corrupt sport in the country? NFL or NBA? I'll give you a few clues. 36 have been found guilty of spousal abuse. Seven are guilty of fraud. 19 of them have written bad checks. And 71 of them can't qualify for a credit card because of their own bad credit. Three are guilty of assault. 14 drug-related charges. Eight have been convicted of shoplifting. 21 are currently involved in lawsuits. And 84 have been involved in a drunk driving incident. So the answer, neither. These statistics are represented by the 435 members of the United States Congress. If you're waiting on someone in Washington to fix the mess in our country, stop and go read your Bible because we need Jesus. Numbers don't lie. And this had 6,800 comments, ladies and gentlemen. Any one of those charges would get you kicked out of the military. Shouldn't Congress be held to a higher standard? I have to say that I agree. Those are the ones that were convicted. Imagine the numbers if they didn't have special privileges and were charged. We should empty Congress and start over again or have term limits on these criminals. Amen to that. Let's empty it and start over again with term limits. How about that? The establishment is the problem. We the people are the solution. It's time for justice. Congress is the mess. <laughs> that was very simply put, but very effective. We don't need term limits. We need to stop voting these people into Congress. Well, I believe that we need to stop voting these criminals into Congress, but I also believe that we do need term limits if we don't want to end up with criminals that can stay in pretty much for their entire adult life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very interesting one. Take a look at this and leave in the comments, what do you think this is? This to me looks like some kind of an energy weapon. It's definitely not lightning. Well, anyways, take a look. I don't know, what do you think this is? It almost has the effects of lightning but you know that it's not lightning just by the way that it acts. Let's take a look at the comments. Maybe someone there knows what this is. Oh no, we, we know it's gonna be really good because this says here, <laughs> this was already pinned. Uh, this comment section is honestly the best comment section I've ever lurked in. And this was from five months ago. So let's, let's, read, a, let's read a few of them. This happens when you tell people you found a way for engines to run on water instead of gasoline. Isn't that the truth, ladies and gentlemen? You've all heard the stories. Let's see. Uh, that homeowner was collecting rainwater, had solar panels, and a big garden. That's three strikes, buddy, and you're out of here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me know if you enjoy this type of stuff, because I'm not going to do this uh, exclusively, but I think that once a week, ladies and gentlemen, having a little bit of fun, uh, I think it's, it's okay to do that. Little Billy thought recreating Benjamin Franklin's electricity experiment would be a good science project for school. Yeah, maybe. When you're prematurely hang up on the extended warranty salesman. <laughs> Let's see. When you paint your house with an unapproved color and your HOA finds out. That's about right. I hate HOAs. The last place that I lived in before I came to Alaska, I had bought a house. I had no idea what HOAs were, ladies and gentlemen. That late in life, too. And uh, my house was in an HOA. 
thank goodness that it was like a new community and the HOA fees were like nothing, like 40 bucks a month or so, and they didn't bother us. They started to bother a little bit as we were leaving that place after living there for like almost six years. So we dodged the bullet on that one. Oh, here's another one. When you testify against Boeing, this is what happens when you go live with your Roswell tapes. <laughs> when Alec Baldwin is left unsupervised on a sci-fi movie set. One more. On a distant planet, a child shoots his toy laser pointer into the sky. 12 million years later. <laughs> oh, amazing. Man. This is hilarious. When his wife was away and asked for a picture to see if the kids are okay, he had a genius idea for a picture and did this. And it's safe to say, this is not what she expected. Let me know if you've ever done this and what do you think about this picture? It's pretty cool. Now, let me go ahead and show you the last one. I'm not going to make these videos super long. Uh, I'm just going to make them a little bit short, like I said, just to break the monotony. Let me go ahead and show you the very last one. I just think that this is so cool. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that I think is so awesome about this is the big smile on this guy's face. Look at how much fun he's having. And another thing that I get from this is this is culture. And that is awesome for us to share in each other's cultures. Let's see what they have to say in the comments over here. This man's ghetto pass will never expire. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, I think I'm speaking for most Americans. We need to see more of this footage of this legend. Amen to that. Uh, <laughs> when Jesus shows up to the party. Oh, man. Uh, he's so relaxed, just gliding. Always a friendly smile on his face. I like that. Uh, Thou shall not steal, lie, or kill. Love each other and keep it gangsta. You'll keep it gangsta. Yes, indeed. Amen. Everything is perfection. The dance, the hair, the clothes, the smile. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is after I finish going over with you all the ones that I picked out because I thought they were funny or interesting, I'm going to click down on it. And if it's one that's appropriate, that's family-friendly appropriate, I will go ahead and go over that one for being the last one of the video. And if it's not, I'll just keep going until I find one that's family friendly appropriate. And we'll look at that. Hey, Bunny, could you go take out the trash, please? Shut up, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny, could you go take out the trash, please? Dad, we're just joking. Oh, it's just oh, a prank. No. It's just oh. a prank. It's okay. It's a joke. I don't think that with a father like that, you should even be pranking this. I remember seeing one of these where the kid was like on a little four-wheeler or something like that. And they did something like that. He says, shut up, mom. And the father just took out after him. And I hear the wife going, it was just a prank. And I, nobody ever knows what happened to that kid. Again, ladies and gentlemen, just trying to break the monotony, maybe bring a little bit of a smile to your face. If you come across any of these shorts or really short videos that you think is really funny that people would enjoy and get a smile out of, uh, family friendly, of course, go ahead and email me a link to it and maybe your video will make it on one of these videos. Having said that, have a great day. God bless every one of you. Remember that tomorrow we will be having a live stream at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So hope to see you there. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.